Okay, Verizon and Nokia today released their Amber update for Windows Phone. That's uh, the new version of the operating system. It's supposed to have several new features on it. So we're going to take a look at uh, rebooting it and everything, installing it and rebooting it. First of all, I highly recommend you plug it in first because it takes nine minutes to do the upgrade, uh, just to do the upgrade. And then it has to transfer your data. It takes another nine minutes or so. And then it has to reboot a couple times to set everything back up again. Now, uh, so if you've already seen this message, you've already done it, there's no consequence, you've already gone through this, but the thing of it is that you should uh, go ahead and have your phone plugged in to do, it, to do the upgrade. Now, if you already have postponed, just go to settings, scroll down, you get down to here till you get to phone. Doom, 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 doom. We'll get there in a second. Phone update. So just click on that, and you say the update is ready to install. So we're just going to say show details. And it talks about it, okay, and it says it takes, should take five to ten minutes, could take longer. It definitely takes longer. Did this both on a 928 and a 822. So we're going to go ahead and say okay. Now I even deleted the files, a lot of the data files on the uh, 822. By the way, I'm going to read, uh, after I finish redoing the camera here, I'm going to actually uh, cut a lot of this restarting and rebooting out because it takes a lot of time to do all this. So here we are later on and it's finishing the first phase of restarting after an install. So it does what Windows Update does for PCs. It's already a downloaded, all, downloaded the update to your phone somewhere in storage and then went ahead and started the update by replacing files, the operating system files on your phone. That's the whole purpose of the rebooting and everything. So it puts that new version of the operating system in. So after it does all this, uh, now you see it says goodbye so all it does now is after it does the this initial goodbyes, after it's put all the files in place and all that and everything, it's actually going to go through an installation process, which is going to actually configure all your stuff. So after it reboots here, then you'll go into the next phase, which is you'll see the gears come up, the famous configuration gears come up, and they'll sit there and do this for another long period of time. Uh, they should be coming up any second now. There's the Nokia brand. And there goes the gear. So I'm going to cut a lot of these out also so that we don't have to wait so long. So now that the uh, it's done, it's going to reboot here. You're going to see it come up with the Nokia brand again and everything. And there's your, your branding coming up. And we're going to go through the normal boot process just yet again to finally put your, your phone together and everything, one would think. But what actually is going to happen is now going to go into this phase that's going to transfer all your data. So depending upon, I don't know if it talks about just your phone data as far as call history and all that stuff and everything, but maybe your photos is going to rearrange stuff, depending upon what it's doing in there. But it takes, that's an awful long time as well, especially when it gets to phase two. That Phase one goes immediate, phase two starts going, and it just takes forever for that to happen. So it's quite a long update for that. So you'll see it comes up with Windows Phone like it says here, and then it says here, oh, almost done. Well, almost done is a euphemism for wait a long time. So you'll see here we're going to skip past this. This is going to jump here from this very small percentage to, oh, nine, nine. there's actually about an eight or nine minute wait in between of that. Uh, it depends upon your phone. It might be uh, quicker for some other phones, depending upon what you have on your phone. But here it goes through the rest of them. It says almost done. And boom, here we are back to the phone. So believe it or not, uh, after we get back to the phone, we bring up the phone and everything. It says your update is all done. We say done, and guess what? It's loading and it says, oh, we're here. Well, let's go do something, right? Let's go over here to, oh, I'm sorry, it won't let me. It says phone restart required. So I'll have to uh, restart it one more time. So I, I'm just going to go ahead and click on restart now, and the phone will reboot, and we're going to skip past all that. So that finishes the update. So now we're going to go take a look at actually what updates happened and what actually you got from this new update, this new Amber update to your Windows Phone 8.